My name is Rena Boone, and I am a certified teacher of Transcendental Meditation, and I'm in Washington, D.C. My name is Joshua Pittman, and I also teach Transcendental Meditation, and I'm in New York City. In this short introductory talk, we will be sharing with you what Transcendental Meditation is and what it is not the benefits that can be gained from the practice, the impressive research that has been done on the technique. Over the past 50 years, there have been over 600 scientific studies that have been done on the technique to validate the benefits. We will also be sharing with you how the TM technique works, and a little about the history. We will share with you how TM is different from other forms of meditation, how the TM course is taught, and the next step in order for you to learn the technique if you choose to. Transcendental meditation is an easy, effortless, natural technique that is practiced for 20 minutes twice a day, sitting comfortably with the eyes closed. During the practice, the mind settles inward and the body gains a deep level of rest and relaxation. So the mind gains what it wants, which is peace of mind, and the body gains what it wants, which is to release stress and tension. Transcendental meditation is not a religion. It's not a lifestyle. We don't have to change our lifestyle in any kind of way. It's not a philosophy or a belief system. It is simply a universal meditation technique that is practiced by millions of people all over the world to release stress, to improve health, to increase one's sense of well-being so that we can live more productive, happier, successful lives. Anyone can practice Transcendental Meditation to improve the quality of their life, whether you are an adult, senior, or youth. We live today in a world with its many pressures and stresses, often toxic stress and responsibilities. When I ask people, what does meditation mean to you? Why would you want to meditate? There is a common answer or theme that I hear over and over again. I want to experience peace of mind, calmness, and relief from stress. Well, the good news is there is a way to experience peace of mind, calmness, and relief from stress. And that is simply by closing the eyes and meditating. The first area I would like to talk about is how transcendental meditation affects the mind. As Rena said, it's a mental technique. It's done sitting quietly, silently, with the eyes closed. And what happens in transcendental meditation is the awareness goes within. To transcend means to go beyond. And in this case, we're going beyond the surface, active, thinking level of the mind to experience calmer, quieter levels of thinking. The experience of Transcendental Meditation is both calm and alert at the same time, the mind settling down to a profound level of rest, and yet it's awake to enjoy the experience. When you meditate, you're still awake, you're still having thoughts, and you can hear, still hear outside noises. Different than a state of unconsciousness, in transcending, we experience a state of pure consciousness, which is quiet inner alertness. During transcendental meditation, the entire brain produces alpha-1 frequency that can be measured through the electroencephalogram, EEG. This type of brainwave is associated with a restfully alert state. Ordinary rest or napping does not provide this level of coherence in the brain that we experience during transcending. This coherent rest enlivens the body's natural healing mechanisms. The level of cortisol, one of the body's main stress hormones, is reduced by about twice as much during TM as it is while resting with the eyes closed. Research on TM has shown significant improvements in a range of stress-related conditions, including high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress.
The benefits of TM are both immediate and cumulative. Within three or four months of regular practice, that coherence that's experienced during TM practice stays with you even when your eyes are open. More and more, you're not going to be lost to that inner calmness, that inner quietness that is experienced during Transcendental Meditation. The Transcendental Meditation technique provides a level of rest that allows the body to heal itself very effectively, and this has been studied, as Rena has said, by hundreds of peer-reviewed research studies. I love to hear the stories when people talk about how their daily practice of Transcendental Meditation has improved their relationships with others, whether it be family members, co-workers, friends, any types of relationships. And it makes sense that when we are less stressed and experiencing greater inner peace and calm, and we are happier, more productive, that this would show up in our relationships. Family members also benefit from practicing TM together. One young man said that since his family had started TM, that there was more love and harmony and peace in his household now. Another young girl said that since she and her family started practicing, that it was far easier to talk to her mother, and there was much less yelling in the family. And the mother then reported that she was enjoying her new inner peace and calm, and that she felt like she was getting better and better at her parenting skills. Co-workers also find that when they meditate before a staff meeting, that they are more productive and enjoy the meeting more. So how does Transcendental Meditation work? The benefits of the TM technique are wide ranging because it's a natural process. The technique of meditation is natural because it uses the nature of the mind. Now we may think that the nature of the mind is to wander. And if we look at why the mind moves from one thing to another, we can see that there is a purpose for the mind wandering. The mind is seeking, seeking experiences of more happiness, more contentment, more peace. If we're reading a book that's not so interesting, it's hard to follow what's happening. If we're watching a boring show, quickly we want to change the channel. But if it's an interesting show, we want to keep watching. If it's a great book, we want to keep turning the pages. Having a great conversation, we can stay on the line for hours. Transcendental Meditation makes use of this natural, tendency of the mind to seek more happiness, contentment, and more peace. And where do we find that? Not so much on the surface where life comes and goes, where life changes, but at that settled state of the mind. We use an analogy to describe how transcendental meditation works. We say that the mind is like the ocean. The ocean has different levels. The surface of the ocean, full of waves, very active, but the bottom of the ocean is silent, calm and peaceful. Our mind is like that. The waking state of the mind, basically from the moment you wake up to when you go to bed, the mind is active and alert, it's thinking, it's looking around, and we never experience much more than that. When the mind starts to settle down, usually what happens is we get dull and fall asleep. The Transcendental Meditation Technique uses thought rather than trying to push out thought. We use a thought and train the mind how to experience that thought at subtler levels. When you learn Transcendental Meditation, you learn something called a mantra from your teacher. A mantra is a sound used for its sound value alone. And you learn how to think that sound effortlessly, easily. The mantras that are used in Transcendental Meditation have no meaning. It's like a word, but not a word in any language. So the mind is not occupied in thinking about the mantra. It's just awake, active, thinking, but not pushed in any direction. And because we're not trying to focus or concentrate on it, the mind is left to itself, active and alert, but not directed. Spontaneously, the mind will begin to settle down to a very settled state. This is why anybody can learn Transcendental Meditation. Even if you've tried to do some other form of meditation and found it hard to focus, to keep the mind still, the TM technique is natural. We teach 10-year-old kids the same sitting down, eyes closed technique that adults learn. Transcendental meditation does not involve any concentration or focus. Techniques of concentration tell you to focus on your breath or to count numbers 
or to focus on a candle flame and basically to keep the mind still and keep it from being distracted by other thoughts. This concentration requires effort and that keeps the mind somewhat more on the surface. Concentration we could say is a little like treading water, a lot of activity to stay in the same place and that will be on the surface. Other forms of meditation involve contemplation or open monitoring where you're watching your thoughts or watching your feelings and trying not to engage them or be overwhelmed by them. This is a cognitive process that keeps the mind also on an active level, more like floating or swimming on the surface. Whereas transcendental meditation is unique in that it does not require effort and it is not a form of contemplation. It is more like diving where the mind spontaneously takes that inward direction and settles down naturally and spontaneously. Transcendental meditation dates back thousands of years. The latest great teacher is Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. Transcendental meditation is taught in a course that lasts for four days, and each day of the course is 60 to 75 minutes. On the first day, there is always a personal one-to-one -one instruction between a certified teacher and a student. And during that time, the student is given a mantra that Joshua talked about and then taught how to use the mantra. Over the next three consecutive days, a person gains more knowledge about how to meditate, how to transcend, so that by the end of the four days, they have everything that is required to experience this easy, effortless, natural meditation technique. With this technique, we have a way to improve the quality of our lives. We have a way to become a new, better version of ourselves day by day. To find a center that is near you, please go to tm.org. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.